Yeah, the Detroit definitely lives up to the hype. Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here from Waltz, and today we're talking about the Detroit from Klipsch. This is the biggest speaker in the Music City series. And in this video, I wanna make sure we talk about everything from the design, connectivity, and of course, the audio. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, like I just mentioned, the Detroit is the biggest speaker in the Music City series. In terms of size, it's got a width of 13.1 inches, a height of 4.1, and a depth of 4.8. So it is travel ready, but it might be a little big to stuff in your backpack which is why it comes with this super cool adjustable handle strap, I guess you could call it. And something I like about the Detroit, but also the other speakers in the line, is that they all have the same button layout. You get four buttons on the top. You're gonna have your power, your Bluetooth, and then your volume up and down. Those are located right where the strap is. And what's cool about the Detroit is that you can take the strap off if you don't like it. It's not permanently on there. I will say it's probably a little bit difficult to get it back on if you do decide to take it off, but you know, I think it's just nice to have because one, you can throw it over your shoulder or two, you can just use it as a handle. It is a little heavier than some of the other Music City series speakers. So, you know, that just kind of helps with how portable it is. But again, it's totally up to you if you wanna rock it with or without the strap. Now, the Detroit is also IP67 rated. So this is going to stand up to the rain and the dust, all that fun stuff. If you're, you know, by a pool or maybe you're on a boat and it accidentally falls in the water, no big deal, just pull it out, dry it off. It's gonna be fine because it is water resistant. And uh, yeah, up to, I think it's like three feet at, for 30 minutes or something like that. So it's not an underwater speaker by any means. I don't think they really make those. Uh, but yeah, you, you can definitely feel you know safe with water and dust. Also, the speaker's very durable. I really like the rubber coating on the edges. Very clean and consistent, again, with the other speakers in the line. I also like how it's not a pain to open the USB-C port, which it does have USB-C, if you were wondering. A full charge is gonna last up to 20 hours, and you do have that LED battery blinker on the top. And also something that's cool is that in case you do get a phone call while you're listening to music, you can actually take the phone call through the speaker, which I thought was pretty cool. You are gonna want to pair this with the Klipsch One Connect app only because if you don't, you won't be able to access the EQ and firmware in case there's any updates to help the stability of the speaker. The EQ is important to me because I like to adjust my speakers and with having the ability to kind of make it a little bit more bass heavy for the type of music that I'm into is something that I can really appreciate. Even though it sounds good in the flat mode, you definitely want to play around and tweak it based on the music that you listen to the most. Or, you know, if you're changing up the music for a night, you have a different crowd of people over and you want to have a different, you know, sound, then you can make those adjustments then and there as well. Now, the Detroit does have dual one inch tweeters and dual three inch woofers, which is why it can help deliver such a full range of sound. It's definitely the best in terms of bass in the Music City series. It also has quad force canceling radiators. So a lot of stuff going on in this speaker. It is front facing, so it's not like the Nashville where you can play music from both sides. But you know, if you want something that's gonna really sound good, this is definitely the way to go. And that pretty much covers it for audio with the Detroit. Now I do want to really quickly show you how to put this speaker into broadcast mode in case you're planning on connecting multiple Music City speakers with it. So if you have multiple Music City series speakers that you do wanna connect together, this is how you're gonna do it. First, you're gonna want to power on the main unit that you plan on keeping closest to your phone. Power that on, power your phone and turn on the Bluetooth. And then you're gonna press the Bluetooth button on the speaker and get connected. Once your phone is connected to the speaker, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is put it in Bluetooth pairing mode for broadcasting. And you can do this by holding down the Bluetooth and the power button at the same time for just a few seconds until you hear a jingle. Once that happens, then you can take your other Music City Spirit speaker that you want to connect, power that on, and do the same thing. Hold the power and the Bluetooth button down until you hear the jingle, and then there should be a second jingle that lets you know that, hey, it has connected. And uh, the best way to do this, in my opinion, is already play some music at a low volume so that you can kind of hear 
when it actually connects. And if you want to add any additional, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, or however many speakers you have, you just got to go through that same process where you hold the pairing button down until you get the jingle and then it automatically connects. If for some reason they get disconnected or out of sync, you just have to power it down and start over again. But yeah, that's basically how you connect the broadcast mode. Now, the Detroit is definitely the best sounding speaker in the Music City series, and I really just enjoy the clear, crisp vocals with the deep bass. I think that with the Music City series, there's a speaker for everyone in every scenario, so I'm glad that they kind of went the way they did and don't have too many of too similar. They all serve you know, a specific purpose. And if you're someone who just really wants to listen to some really good sounding audio and, you know, you want it to sound loud and deep and punchy and you want it to be portable, the Detroit is the perfect option for you. Now it is time for that sound test. So we're going to wrap up the video here. If you want to pick one of these up, make sure you check the links down in the description. It really does help us out. If you guys already have the Detroit or planning on picking one up, let us know what your experience is down in the comment section. We always appreciate the input. As always, if if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. You guys so much for making it to the end of the video if this is a product that you're interested make sure to email me at youtube at waltz so i can get you a special youtube discount if you haven't already subscribe for more videos like these and we'll see you in the next one